Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to create informative, user-friendly human-machine interface, that helps to monitor and control the process. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. As I already mentioned, visualization helps to monitor the process and make relevant decisions to make fast corrective actions for the steering of the, the process by full scale. In this example I will show you how to create a monitor of the state of the motor. Control voltage. Let's say here we have a very simple motor reverse control scheme. Here are two buttons, that control rotation direction. Two LEDs that help to indicate direction of the rotation. And this button represents control voltage contact. So if the control voltage is off, then current will not flow over our circuit. To enable this circuit a control voltage needs to be applied. In some cases, there might happen so, that control voltage is lost due to broken wires, faulty mechanical contacts or any other reason. So it is very important to know whether the control voltage is on or off. Next state is readiness to operate. Let's start the motor. As you can see I cannot change direction of the motor while it is running. There is no fault, but part of the circuit is not active, it is interlocked. Next state is fault. Fault may happen due various reasons. It might be because of broken wire, faulty mechanical contact or any other faulty equipment. So it is very important to understand when the machine is in fault state and needs to be fixed. Next state is machine run. I have divided the state into two parts. First one machine runs in automatic mode. Second one machine runs in manual mode. At first I will simulate these states in my PLC program. In the first network I do simulate presence of the control voltage. Network number 2 is used to simulate fault. Network 3 is used to simulate readiness state. Network 4 is used to simulate automatic control mode. Network 5 is used to simulate manual control mode. DB10 contains simulation bits. DB11 contains state of the motor. Now let's create a visualization of the states of the motor. First I will configure the tags. Create a tag table in your HMI project and open it. In the project tree find the DB11 and mark it. Drag and drop state byte into the tag table of the HMI. In the project tree find the DB10. Drag and drop it into the tags table of the HMI. All the tags from DB10 are now saved in the tag table of the HMI. Tags are done, switch to the screen. Find the circle from the toolbox, drag and drop it onto the screen. You can change the background color of it, but it is not needed in the design mode.
switch to the animation tab of the circle and expand display. Double click add new animation and select appearance from the open dialog. Assign tag where bits with state information are stored. Select multiple bits as type. Bit 0 is not used in my example, so I will select a neutral gray color. Bit 1 is used to represent the state of the control voltage. The color is white. Bit 2 is used to represent the fault state. Color is red. Bit 3 is used to represent the ready state. Color is yellow. Bit 4 is used to represent the automatic control mode state. Color is green. Bit 5 is used to represent the manual control mode state. Color is blue. Add 4 buttons. These buttons will simulate various states of the motor. First button will simulate the state of the control voltage. Second button will simulate the error state. The third button will simulate automatic control mode. And fourth button will simulate manual control mode. Each of the buttons will fire on click event. By firing this event, corresponding bit tag will be toggled. Control voltage button will toggle control voltage bit. Error button will toggle error bit. Auto button will toggle automatic mode control bit. Man button will toggle manual control bit. Let's test our program. Yellow color of the circle indicates, that motor is ready to operate. Let's try to turn off control voltage. Control voltage is off, circle color is white. By putting motor into fault state, circle color becomes red. Motor started to run in automatic mode. Circle color changed to green. Color changed to blue after motor control changed to manual mode. That is how easily you can create informative visualization system. By combining several techniques your visualization system may look much more professional. That is that what I wanted to show you today. If this video was helpful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.